We're celebrating Juneteenth, a day of liberation, um, but we're also painting a community mural of uh, Black Lives Matter right here at the intersection of Locust Street and Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. The location is pivotal because it's in the heart of the Harambe community. Harambe is key Swahili for let's pull together. And as you can see with all the various people behind me, the diverse group of people, it really is an example of the community coming together um, to help make this happen. Um, the slogan of Black Lives Matters is one used um, a lot in the level of unrest that we see across the globe, um, speaking to um, the police brutality uh, that African Americans across the country um, have been receiving and the need to eradicate it. The diversity of the voices being raised to help ensure that black lives do matter is miraculous, not just here in Milwaukee, but globally. They okay with using guns, they okay with using assistive force, they okay with tear gassing us, macing us, I've been through it all. So we need accountability, we need laws to be changed. In November, I will be voting. I'm already registered, I need all that. So yes, I will be voting and I advise everybody to vote too because the change starts with you. If you don't vote, what, what, what's going to happen? We're not going to get the change we need to. And if we all got our mind on the same thing, on the same people, if we know we need people in office that's like-minded, that care about everybody, who, you know what I'm saying, people who just not evil-hearted or have ill intentions, we can get them out of there. That's right. But you got to vote. We, it is my hope that all those who help paint this mural today and those who drive over it in the days to come share my hope that one day we'll continue to work towards there being one day where these words, Black Lives Matter, no longer need to be said because it will be ingrained into everything we think and do.